Hi, this is Peter Stormer from tequipment.net and thermocamerexperts.com. I'm the thermal camera sales manager here. I'd like to talk to you today about the differences between the FLIR 1 and the Seek, two very common phone-based or uh, tablet device-based cameras that'll convert your uh, device into a thermal imager. And a very common question we get here is, what's the difference between the two of them? I figured it's easier to show everybody than it is to tell you. So here we're gonna look at first the uh, Seek. This is the standard Seek uh, camera that I have on my Android-based phone. So this is an Android-based device. Um, gives you, you know, a pretty good resolution, pretty good clarity on the thermal image. What you can then do is if you wanted to see some information about what you're looking at, you can go in and get a center spot measurement. Unfortunately, you can't move the spot around, but what you can do is go into the high-low mode. And this will actually automatically show you whatever the coolest and um, hottest spots are in the field of view. So it's very convenient for finding a difference or a delta between the two temperatures. You can also set alarms. So if you want to see it look how a certain how a certain temperature range looks, you can go into alarm mode as well. We'll stick with um, going into the high-low. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but it, when you go back out of this mode, it changes it to black and white. Easy enough to change. You click on the color wheel up top, and you can choose the palette you want to look at the uh, images in. I'll stick with the traditional, um, what they call iron palette. Now, some other changes you can also make to the way your image looks. You can go in and change your temperature unit from Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin. We'll stick with Fahrenheit because I don't really use Kelvin too much. You can set your color palettes here as well. But more importantly, image preferences, you can watermark the date and time, your GPS data, and if you want to, you can put the Seek logo on there as well, but we'll keep that off for now. And when you do that, and you go back to your image, you'll now see you've got your GPS data as well as your time and date stamp as well. Now, we want to compare this against what you see with the FLIR 1. Now, this happens to be the FLIR 1 for an iOS device. Turn it back on. Now, you'll notice right away that the FLIR 1 versus the same image, you can't really tell exactly what it is you're looking at because FLIR has what's called their MSX enhancement, which will take the visual image and put it and overlay it with the thermal. Now, what you can do here, you can actually go into split screen mode and it'll actually give you a split of the visual and the thermal all in one shot. So you still can get, and it still even shows you the hotspot data. So you still can see what it is you're looking at, but you don't get the visual enhancement that you get from looking at the um, camera here, even though we're looking at the same thing. Now, this would look the same as on an Android or on an on a Apple or an iOS device, the uh, FLIR 1, and the same thing with the Seek. Uh, you can check our other videos for that as well. So when you want to look in the distance, so there's the uh, other camera that we're looking at. So you can kind of get how the two images differ um, as you're looking at them. So this gives you a quick idea of how the FLIR um, 1 looks compared to the Seek. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or give us a call, and we'll be happy to talk to you about it. Thanks very much.